make sure the foot is in a straight position. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. And then have you lean forward, keeping your knee straight. Again, she's got that excessive dorsiflexion, which we already knew, um, but that also is going to tell you that her gastroc length is very good too. Um, her knee is not, you're looking to see if the knee is wanting to bend or if the heel is trying to come off the floor. Those are the two points where she's at her end range. And then to get the, the true measurement, if you're trying to compare, you would measure the angle on the lateral side, just like we had practiced before. Mm -hmm. Lining up the, the goniometer on the lateral malleolus, the stationary arm up the fibula, and the moving arm on uh, parallel to the fifth metatarsal, okay? And then obviously, if you wanna get the soleus, if you're looking for soleus length, I'm gonna bend the knee. Okay. Yep, so bring the foot in, have them take half a step in, bend the knee, and what do you think? Should you have more of a uh, an angle with the soleus or with the gastroc, most likely? You're going to have a greater angle soleus. with the soleus. soleus. Yeah, because most likely, if anything, it's the gastroc that's it's limited, limited the motion, not the soleus. Um, that's the, the, the stronger, bigger one. Okay, and that's it.